so in this tutorial I'm going to discuss timers in JMeter so we will discuss what type of timers that are available for us to use inside our JMeter test plan the first type of timer that I want to discuss is constant timer this timer delays the user request with equal amount of time so let's say you have 200 user requests and you have given 10 seconds then each user will be having request delay in between them is 10 seconds so this is why it is called constant timer can add that timer by clicking on test plan add then timer then constant timer you'll find that it has specific name field comment field and then thread delay in milliseconds then there is another type of timer called Gaussian random timer as the name suggests Gaussian random timer here the thread delay is random so if you want random way for your test and you don't want any sequence or constant delay in between the type of request that user makes then you can use caution random timer then another timer is uniform random timer here the random delay is treated per user basis so for one user it could be specific 10 for another 20 for another again 10 but the user requests in between for that same amount or different amount is randomly selected and so is the amount of milliseconds in between them are randomly selected that is why it is called uniform random timer then there are few other timers like bean shell timer constant throughput timer and synchronizing timer let's check bean shell timer this is the type of timer that is written with the help of bsf 274 273 type of scripts and you can specifically get those script overrides on this page also do any other type of uh, interpreter, interpreter reset here okay so another type of timer is constant throughput timer which I have to specifically show you the example in order to demonstrate same is the case for synchronizing timer so let's check one simple timer for now I will remove this set of timers okay now what we are going to do is we are going to create a simple test and we are going to check how constant timer is going to be used for our test where we are going to check the result of user request in a table so for that first add thread group okay number of threads one ramp up period one and loop count should be so that our same user request will loop for 100 times now let's add HTTP request default 
give the server name www.google.com then add http request okay so we have added http request default http request then we will add timer which is constant timer now we have to increase this millisecond to let's say 5000 after that we will add a view results in table as our listener view results in table so go to add then listener view results in table okay so this is our table for now Okay, so I'm running the test right now and as you can see it is showing me the result here Now if you check the start time in between two, you will find that the delay is very low. That means our delay in between the two samples is not right. This happens when you do have proxy server to connect to internet. Uh, right now I have OpenDNS as my proxy and this is one reason why the start time in between has a difference you can uh, remove such uh, proxy server in between your network and then run the test again you will find there is the exact delay in between the two samples as we specified okay so our test is running up to 67 samples for now I hope you have got the idea about how this timer and Geometer works. If you have any questions or suggestions, or know how you can um, suggest me some improvements, then feel free to let me know in comments or send me message. That would definitely help, and I will try to improve. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.